God calls me, he called me to glow, to become light, to become bright, to celebrate. I am a celebrator. That's my nickname, a celebrator. Don't envy me my name. Because I am well connected and well privileged. Hallelujah. <laughs> when the thing of heaven entered into me, I begin to celebrate on earth. And the earth cannot contain me. Because my love is bigger than this earth. Today, in our daily prayer, I'm reading to you John chapter 1 verse 1a. In the beginning was the word. In the beginning was the word. Two words are very potent. Beginning and word. If you do not love the word of God, then you have a problem with yourself and you'll be losing a lot of things. That's true. title of the teaching today says use your word to get what you want use your words use your word to get what you want many people take lightly the word that comes out of their mouth. Let me tell you, before other people are capable of destroying you with their thoughts, imagination, actions, and their words, you are the one who is capable of primarily destroying yourself with your word. That's why you have to be kind to yourself. Be kind to yourself. And the first way for you to be kind to yourself is by the use of beautiful words concerning your life. Open doors and opportunities for yourself through beautiful, kind words, words that are packed with positivity and power. Generate, release kind words towards yourself and not negative words and not words that destroys the more you speak negative and destructive words concerning yourself concerning your past concerning your future concerning your present concerning your friends concerning your kids concerning your job the more it's gonna get worse that is the law of the universe. If I were you, I would never be complaining about anything on earth anymore. That's true. I will begin to become a celebrator, a dancer, a singer. Yep. I find little things that will make me laugh. The reason is because 
I have no end. My beginning has begun and I don't have any more end. It's only good things and beautiful things that will be happening to me. That's what David said. Surely goodness and mercy only. Good things and beautiful things only will be happening to me from this day forward. Use your word. Your words are powerful. Your words are potent. Use your word to create a life for yourself. Use your words to get whatever you need. Pregnant life, pregnant the universe with your words. Charge the universe with your words. And the universe will bow to you because you are a king, you are a queen, you are a ruler, you are a leader. The universe is subject to you and everything in it. The world system is subject to you. Use your word to create a new world for yourself. To create a universe of your own. Whatever anybody thinks of you does not matter. Use your word to get what you want. For a long time you've been waiting for that people to come and create a world and a life for you. Blaming government, blaming Democrats, blaming independents, blaming Republicans or whatever party is in your country. Blaming your family members, blaming your father, blaming your mother. That's not important. What is important is that you can use greatness in your world to achieve something for yourself. Release the word into your future. Every day, say the same word. For example, you can say words like, I am going to be the first most richest person in my city. My business will be all over the earth. There will be no place I will not have a name. My institutions will be everywhere. That's what God meant when he said subdue and replenish the earth manufacture create something and you begin with your word and when your spirit hears what you say it will go into action your real person is waiting to hear what you say that you should do your spirit is waiting for an instruction when are you going to give it instruction a command to obey instruction to follow you have not yet even the angels are waiting for you to release the words to tell them what to do use your word your words are powerful Jesus is the word of God and he lives in you therefore when you speak your own word or when you speak the word of God that is in your mouth in your mind in your spirit when you release it it creates things your word will stop the devil on his path. And he cannot charge at you. Because you know what you're doing. Remember that the psalm for today is psalm number 7. Psalm number 7. Don't forget to read psalm number 7. Hallelujah. Read and meditate on it. Let's begin to pray. And stop dancing. I don't know why. Say this. Father, put a new dance in me. Put a new song in me. Lord, I ask you to charge my word with a force upon the earth. Let my word create things. Let my word bring things into existence. What I want. What I want what I want. My words are creating things for me. I give my words as a seed to Jesus, the word in me. And he's working with my word and he's doing something for me. Amen. When you say those powerful, most potent words, they begin to happen. Dear Jesus, bring it to pass. Amen. Hallelujah. That is true.